All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a little update on the wagon seats. This is literally like sprayed it with glass cleaner, like foaming glass cleaner. Walked away from it, came back, and like spent 30 seconds with a red scuff pad and more glass cleaner, and then wiped them with a dirty ass rag and. You can see the difference, I'm sure I did the top half of the lower cushion and the bottom half of the upper cushion. Look how nice that cleaned up. Look at that. Oh, that doesn't even that bad. But this is just glass cleaner. I'm gonna try the uh, scrubbing bubbles trick uh, that uh, Corvette Ben uses on his channel for his Corvette upholstery stuff when he does his flippers. Um, I, man, that's nice. <laughs> like, I'm, I would not be ashamed to run that just like it is. Really, like, but it is a 57 pattern, which, who cares? What's the only difference? And the only reason I know that is because it says right there, 57 wagon, 210, four door. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Now, if this right here... Little indent comes out. Um, this seat is almost about as perfect as you can get, other than this little bit right here. A little. Whoops, sorry. There. A little bit right there. A little, little bit. Which looks like it maybe got snagged on something. Big deal. It's going to have a seat cover on, anyways, of some sort, somehow, some way, someday. But, uh, yeah. That is awesome. It's actually kind of nice looking upholstery. I'd almost be okay with running that if I had a front seat to match, but... Okay, this back. This here's got just a little bit right here. Which, I think I'm just gonna put some, like, awning tape on. Before I cover it. And, like, I'm just gonna cover it over top of these. There's no reason to do anything more to them. Um, Mexican blankets. And let me show you our progress. Okay, you see that? I got that dissected. And I've got some Eastwood Fast Etch on it. Um, it wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. But that's the worst spot. So I'm good with that. So this piece is going to just sit in fast etch for a little bit and uh, should be good. I'll hit it with some rust encapsulator once that's dry before it goes on the car when it's ready to go in but I might as well get this ready because I'll have time to let it sit. So that's awesome. Um, I've decided that where these, these nuts are encapsulated in like a little cage like this like this uh, it's just not a good it's not a good design never was never will be so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and um, just cut a little bit of this flap off slide a cage clip on there so and I'll do that on this end as well that little bit is not going to affect that strength of that piece one iota and then I'll do the same on the car side you can see that maybe not no I probably can't see that at all but anyways I'll do the same thing on the car so all that Swiss cheese is going to go 99% away, or 95% at least. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to try and fix this. I mean, I could just put a piece in there. You know, but then it's like, well, where do you stop? And I, I can't make that piece. I just, it just won't work. I wish I knew somebody that could. That'd be awesome, but... It's just um, too complex for me, 
so I'm going to just run what I've got and make it work. So I'm going to tend to that a little bit and then I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm not going to mess with, uh, with this section anymore tonight. So that piece I have to think about how I want to actually dissect it. Um, kind of have an idea, but I'm going to need to cut a lot of that off of there to get to it the way I want to get to it. So that's all good. It's all good. I'll probably open up my shifter. I basically bought a low car universal shifter from C CPP. So, but that's very successful day junkyarding. Obviously, these were not in outside storage. Um, classic Chevy, Chevy Enterprises. Pretty much all his cars are inside. All of them. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. He has, like, a ton of cars and not not but a handful are sitting outside. So, that's why these parts look nice. I can't believe a mouse didn't chew a hole in one of these. I can't, I just cannot believe that a mouse did not chew anything on these at all. It's outstanding. So, I'm good with that. And, uh, that... That should be a wrap. So uh, later, catch you on the next one.